Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 23rd International Conference on Integrated Care. The babble of excitement, I think, is tangible. I know that we still have a bit of an airport check-in situation outside, so hopefully people will get through and get to join us during the course of this opening ceremony. So welcome to those of you that are here and welcome to this wonderful city of Antwerp. We're welcoming around 1,300 people face to face over the next three days and we have 500 people joining us online as well. I'd like to very much thank our co-hosts, the Flanders Agency for Health and Care, and to point out that our sponsors play an invaluable role in making our conferences happen. So I would like to, at the very start, thank our sponsors, the Bevan Commission of Wales, the Health Standards Organisation and Accreditation Canada, um, the Inter-University Partnership for General Practice Training in Flanders, the Centre for Person-Centred Care in Sweden, Remacare and Meritive. And please do visit their stands in the exhibition stand to find out more about how they're making integrated care happens. Now, it is my huge pleasure to welcome on stage IFIC's chair, Professor Ornia Carroll. Thank you very much, Neve. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, friends, and integrated care colleagues, it is my honour and privilege to stand before you today as Chair of the International Foundation for Integrated Care. And on behalf of the IFIC Board, I welcome you to this extraordinary Integrated Care Conference. It is such a delight to welcome such a diverse and influential gathering of people who are committed to shaping the future of health and care. Integrated Care represents the essence of progress, collaboration and compassion in modern health care. It embodies the belief that by breaking down silos, embracing diverse perspectives and working together, we can create a future where healthcare is not fragmented, but truly person-centered, coordinated and continuous. And each one of you plays a crucial role in this endeavor. Researchers, you are the pioneers of knowledge, tirelessly exploring new frontiers unearthing innovative ideas and generating evidence that drives our understanding of integrated care. Your dedication is pushing the boundaries of knowledge and that's what propels us forward and fuels our collective aspirations. Healthcare professionals, you are the heart and soul of our healthcare systems. Every day you provide care, comfort and hope to those in need. Your expertise, compassion and unwavering commitment to excellence are what make our healthcare systems truly remarkable. And embracing integrated care, you have the power to break down silos, collaborate across disciplines and ensure that our patients receive comprehensive, holistic care that addresses their unique needs. Policymakers, you possess the power to transform ideas into action. You have the ability to shape policies that enable the integration of services, remove barriers, and foster a seamless healthcare experience. Your decisions have the potential to touch the lives of millions, making it imperative that you approach your work with vision, empathy, and a deep commitment to serving the common good. Managers, you are the orchestrators of change. It is your responsibility to bring together the various stakeholders align their efforts and create a harmonious symphony of care. Your organisational skills, leadership and dedication are essential in overcoming the challenges we face in implementing integrated care. Your role as change agents cannot be underestimated. And citizens and people, you are the heart and soul of integrated care. Your experiences, needs and voices are at the core of our mission. As advocates for your own health and that of others, you are the driving force behind the transformation of health and care systems. Your stories, insights and experiences remind us of why we are here today, to build a health and care system that truly cares, listens and empowers. So we stand at a critical juncture, facing numerous challenges, but also boundless opportunities. 
Integrated care has the potential to revolutionise how we approach health and care. It can bridge the gaps between primary care, mental health, long-term care, social services and other sectors. It can enhance communication, coordination and collaboration among healthcare professionals, ensuring that patients receive the right care at the right time in the right place. However, the path to integrated care is not without obstacles. It requires perseverance, resilience and an unwavering commitment. We must confront the systemic barriers that hinder integration, fragmented funding, information sharing challenges, cultural resistance to change and a lack of coordination among different actors and sectors. We must push for systemic reform and inspire policy shifts and demand the necessary resources to make integrated care a reality for all. So as we gather here today, let us remember that we are not alone on this journey. We are part of a global community dedicated to the pursuit of integrated care. By collaborating, sharing knowledge and learning from one another, we can overcome hurdles, unlock new insights and create sustainable change. IFIC is your tribe. IFIC is our tribe. So let us embrace the power of interdisciplinary collaboration, transcending professional boundaries to tackle complex healthcare challenges together. Let us foster a culture of empathy, understanding and person-centeredness that forms the bedrock of integrated care. Let us be bold, innovative and relentless in our pursuit of a future where no patient falls through the cracks of a fragmented health and care system. I urge each and every one of you to make the most of this conference. Engage in lively discussions, exchange ideas, challenge existing paradigms and form lasting friendships and collaborations. Let the collective wisdom and energy of this gathering fuel your passion for integrated care. Together, we have the power to shape the future of health and care systems. And by working together, we can achieve much more than we ever could alone. Together, our future is bright. Enjoy the conference. Thank you. Thank you, Anya. And thank you to all of you for taking time out of what I know are incredibly busy working lives. You've done that so that you can come here to meet other people, to share your experiences, to reflect, to test out ideas, and ultimately to bring back your experience to others back where you, where you work. So we want to help you make the most out of your experience. If you have not yet downloaded the conference app, do it now, because everything is there. You'll be getting alerts through the app throughout the three days. Some of you inviting to participate in particular sessions through the three days. One such activity that you'll get an alert about is our 2023 annual survey. And if you haven't already participated in that, please do take the time over the next three days to do that. And if you require any assistance through the conference, keep an eye out for our Flanders Agency for Health and Care colleagues. They're wearing the yellow lanyards and they'll be able to help. You'll also see your IFIC colleagues. They're wearing orange lanyards and they'll point you in the right direction if you get lost or if you just want somebody to talk to. We're always very happy to talk to anybody, as those of you who know us well know. Um, if you want to know more about the work of the foundation, because this is the International Foundation of Integrated Care's real celebration event, but we do a lot of other work throughout the 12 months, and if you'd like to know more about that, come to us at our stand. The overarching theme of the next three days is care in action, how to work together, a participatory approach. So our plenaries are designed to take you on a journey. This morning from person-centered, goal-oriented care, tomorrow to engaging with communities and using population health approaches to make integrated care happen and meaningful. 
And then we wrap up on Wednesday with a discussion on how we make that collaboration and participation really meaningful when we're implementing care integration. And along the way, there are so many fantastic parallel sessions and workshops. Your most challenging decision over the next few days is going to be deciding where to go and at what time. So make sure that you get to the session you decide to go in plenty of time so that you can get a seat. So while you get plenty of steps in moving around the conference center over the next three days, you might also want to join some of the outdoor activities. So we've got some, um, we've got some walks planned. I know that the lunchtime walks are now booked out, but if you are booked on one of those, um, they meet uh, at the information desk at 1 p.m. All of the coffee breaks and lunch will take place in the atrium where you came in and had your coffee this morning. Um, and if you're planning to attend a lunchtime session, we suggest that you go straight to uh, 105 session. So if your session sta starts at 105, go straight to it and have lunch after your session. If it's a 125 lunchtime session, then go and have some lunch first and then go on to your session. We're hoping that by staggering lunch, we make it easier for people to manage. And it also gives you a bit more time for networking. Don't forget to visit our exhibition area and the e-poster kiosks. They're located in the atrium. And also take time to visit the Flemish Gallery. Um, our hosts have organized a number of networking activities and interactive activities, so please do go and have a look and see what they've got in store for you there. The welcome reception this evening will take place here in, uh, in the Marble Hall, and you're welcome to join us for a drink at six o'clock. For those of you who have booked tickets for the conference, conference dinner, that is tomorrow evening at Horta Grand Café and Art Nouveau Hall at 7.30. I'm afraid the tickets for that have now sold out, um, but hopefully as many of you as possible have been able to get tickets to join us there. We'll also be presenting at this the Integrated Care Awards, and they've been selected from your abstract submissions, um, and the venue is a short 13 minutes walk away. So we also have a number of site visits throughout the three days, um, and these visits are now full, I'm afraid, but again, if you are booked on one of those visits, please do meet at the information desk. And for those of you who are so inclined by social media, please do use our hashtag ICIC23 and follow the foundation at, uh, in, at IFIC Info. Our conferences are known as very friendly places, and that's something that we work hard to maintain. And we really do hope you get much inspiration from the next three days. So I would now like to introduce, on behalf of our local hosts, Madam Minister Hilda Krevitz, the Deputy Minister, President of Flemish Government, and Flemish Minister for Welfare, Public Health, and Family. Thank you very much for the introduction. Um, dear guests of uh, this year's International Conference on Integrated Care, as Deputy Minister of uh, the Government of Flanders and Flemish Minister for Welfare, Public Health and Family, it's my privilege to welcome you in the city, the beautiful city of Antwerp and in his historical building that is linked to our zoo. This uh, beautiful Queen Elizabeth Hall, as it, um, it called, was designed to host music performances for visitors in the zoo in the late 19th century. You hear it right, for visitors in the zoo. In that way, this is a very symbolic and suitable place to host this year's conference. Making music and performing in an orchestra requires good teamwork in order to let people enjoy the beautiful sounds. That teamwork, ladies and gentlemen, is also essential for building good integrated care and giving people the best care they can get. So I hope this conference will enable us to get and to know each other, to learn more from another and further expand this collaboration. 
The topic of, integrated, of integration of health and social care is high on the political agenda in Flanders and also in Belgium. And no, that's not the same. I will, I will not try to explain the Belgian state structure as it is rather complicated as you might know. But we try to work together. And in every region and on every level in Belgium, integrated care is very important. Despite this difficult state structure, so as I said, we work together, we listen, and we find solutions. Our interfederal plan proves that, and you will hear more about this plan on Wednesday, so stay tuned. In Flanders, we started working towards integrated care in 2015, and we were inspired, inspired by the conference in Scotland, Edinburgh. Eventually, different ideas of different international communities helped us build our Flemish policy, and in 2017, we organized our own big conference to reform our primary care. From then on, the person with the care demand is absolute, absolutely central. But drawing up this strategy was only the beginning. It's one thing to bring, to get people excited to participate in a big project, but the project itself must also be implemented. Good policy is not made somewhere in an ivory tower, but is made by listening to each other and listening to the daily experiences of people in care, local authorities and field organization. This is also what we be, will be doing here during this conference. Therefore, this gathering is so important, importance of this international conference. Ladies and gentlemen, we all need to be part of this change in care provision. This requires a, ch a change in thinking about care and caregiving. We hope this conference opens our minds and inspires us and all of you to get to work with teams such as prevention, person-centered care, goal-oriented care, and caring neighborhoods. We are here to learn. This conference is about learning and sharing. It's also about strengthening and creating networks. We are pleased that we can take this conference as an opportunity to reach out to many countries and especially strengthen ties with Wales, Ireland, Scotland, and Catalonia. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for your work. Let us create the best care possible. I wish you a good, a productive, and an inspiring conference. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Madam Minister. I think some real inspiration in there. Now I would like to welcome to the podium Fabian Dominguez, who is the, um, the uh, I can't, sorry, I haven't got, sorry, I do have my glasses on top of my head. Many of you will understand that. Um, Councillor for Social Affairs and Public Health at the Diplomatic Representation of Flanders to the EU. Fabian. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Uh, I'm here today on behalf of our Secretary General, who unfortunately, due to circumstances, is stuck abroad. So I will have the honor to give her a uh, speech. So, um, dear colleagues, geachte collegas, dear co-organizers, a very good morning to you all. I will continue on the momentum of our minister, Hildeke Witz, to keep you enthusiastic and I will invite you once again to learn and exchange during this three-day event. When I go through the list of participants and see the content of the program, which must have been a feed by the colleagues at IFIC to get around, I am pleasantly surprised on how many initiatives are practice-oriented, policy-relevant, and really try to be person with a care question inclusive. It is also pleasant to see how the four pillars of this conference, the academic research, 
the education, practice and policy, try to find each other in a common goal, namely caring for people. Our intention in Flanders is indeed to see cooperation as a way to achieve integration of care where every level can play a role with respect for the other. What I'm looking forward to today and the next two days, of course, is the cross-fertilization that should be enhanced by the interactions between the before-mentioned four pillars. All have, you all have experiences worth sharing, all of you. And that is the most important element in a conference where we have 1,000 1, yeah, 1, to 1,300 people participating. I hope that uh, this uh, beautiful and historic site of Antwerp will, of course, inspire you to engage and to exchange. I would also like to give you a scoop. On the 1st of June, we have a merger between the Department of Welfare, Public Health and Family with the Agency of Care and Health. And that means that we are, as of then, and then I should push a button, but it will be done for me, as of then, we will be called the Department of Care. Let's hope it pops up. Well, be, just be amazed, even though it doesn't pop up, just be wow. <laughs> done. The integration of health uh, and well-being within the Flemish government is, uh, will be a fact. At the entrance, it has also been mentioned, at the entrance and in the zoo gallery, you can already see our new banner, so please feel free to visit the gallery at any time. Colleagues, I would like to emphasize once again the theme of the conference, which is care in action. Our focus for the coming days is on implementation, practice, stories, and experiences. Therefore, the plenaries and the breakout sessions are constructed as follows. Starting today with the most essential, meaning person-centered care, which is the essence of our work. Goal-oriented care will help fine-tune this change towards patient-centered care. Tomorrow, two plenaries will take you even further into opportunities for integration of care. Plenary 2, entitled Engaging Everybody, Caring Neighborhood and Compassionate Communities. If today we share about how to reach patient-centered care, tomorrow we will see that patient-centered care is for and by the community. Plenary 3, entitled Population Health Approach Leverage for Integrated Care a tool and a driving force to support citizens, healthcare providers, and governments. Many of us are seeking, on a daily basis, how we can make this work. We have different perspectives, different needs, different expectations with regards to population health management. We draw the conclusion of these two days uh, in Plenary 4 on Wednesday, 24th of May. This will be in a more transversal narrative on change management and collaboration. Just as our minister mentioned before, although the process to integrate care in Flanders is moving on in a steady way, we must never forget we co where we come from. Our initiatives have historically been shaped within the specificity of the Belgian Flemish system and its characteristics such as, first of all, the Belgian healthcare system, primary healthcare system, where the GP's system relies mainly on independent care providers. Second, all patients have free choice of care providers. And third important element, the impact of decentralization of healthcare competences, which means shared competences with the federal level as a result of this devolution of competences with subsequently uh, which subsequently means, of course, intense collaboration with all actors involved. I know very well that our colleagues are very keen to share their experiences with you and also questions, and I hope you can find a moment to reach out to them. You may have wondered why the symbol for this year's um, edition is a yellow bike. You can see it projected. Well, most of you might know that Flanders has a cycling tradition, strong cycling tradition. 
But there's more to this. This bike is not just an ordinary bike, it is a tandem bike. Because care in action is not something you do alone, that you do on your own. You work together and with determination, and those are the best way forward. Hence, the tandem. Regarding the program, I personally very much like that you can see the countries where speakers come from. But for Belgium, as we have the federal level, Flanders, Brussels, the French-speaking, the German-speaking uh, colleagues in Belgium, you will not see the Belgian flag, but again, a tandem. Symbol of our conference as said. I hope that as such you can get yourself familiar with what we are doing and become curious for more. And to learn more, of course, we have the many posters, workshops, plenary sessions, etc. In addition, it has already been mentioned, in the main hall you will see the Flanders Gallery. Please go there if you are in need for more explanation or looking to meet colleagues from Flanders and I therefore kindly invite you to use it as a meeting point. I would also like to encourage you to use the app. It has already been mentioned. I will mention it again. I would also like to encourage you to use the app to connect with other uh, participants uh, to the conference. And of course, for those who are social media savvy, you have the ICIC23 hashtag. You can, of course, use that to further spread your stories and experiences here at this conference. And lastly, but sure not, uh, be sure not to forget to invite a participant, a colleague, to take your picture together on the bikes and become a real carer in action. Dear colleagues, once again, on behalf of our Secretary General and our entire team, welcome to Flanders and we truly wish you a wonderful, wonderful experience at this conference. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Fabien. And no, I thought I would hit something here and maybe we would have the great unveiling, but uh, never mind. We know, we know what the name of the department is. So thank you to Fabian. <laughs> oh, okay, there it is. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> So thank you, Fabien, and to the Madam Minister for making us feel so welcome here in Antwerp for the conference. And with that, I think the conference, the 23rd conference, is now open. We're going to hear from the voices of lived experience as we move into our first plenary, which is co-chaired by Jan de Mansonier and Carolyn Steele-Gray. So enjoy the video. Thank you, everybody.